the latest version that we've all been waiting for, Ubuntu 20.04, has finally released. It's about to release tomorrow, actually. But instead of making a video just like all the others where they showcase what's different and what's not, I'm sure you already know what to expect and what's going to be different in this new release. But what I'm going to be talking about is going to be the top eight stuff to do right after installing your system. So when you first install your system, you're greeted with this type of message right here, prompt, and you can uh, choose to connect to any of your accounts. So of, of course, this is the number one thing to do is go through this. And if you don't have any accounts to set up, you can just go ahead and click the skip button. And if you want to set up the live patch, you can go ahead and do that as well. And this is really important is to make sure not to skip out on this because it asks you if you would like to share your information. Now, if you don't like uh, to send any information and you uh, value your privacy and all that type of stuff, if you're against this, this is your option right here. So make sure not to skip it because if you do, you can go to the settings later on to change it up, but you might not know about it. And for more privacy settings, you can choose to keep location services disabled. And that's about it. Now for the second thing to do after installing your system, I recommend going to the system settings. And then once you access the settings, go ahead and look for where it says display. And you have the option for night light here. Now this is a really good feature uh, that protects your eyes when you use the computer late at night. And if you keep it enabled and you choose your settings here, you can adjust to have it um, a bit more orange. It filters the blue light and you can also choose your options and make it uh, set it to a manual uh, start and end basis. Now for the third thing that I recommend doing is I recommend you open a terminal and go ahead and enter sudo apt install gnome dash tweaks. Enter your password. Now I already have this installed, but once you install it, you can go ahead and access your tweaks. And this is really good because, oh, wait, this isn't it. There we go. So this is uh, really good because, and I wonder why it's not shipped by default, but even though the latest version uh, offers more appearance settings, well, there are still other settings that are missing. And if you would like to install custom themes, you can go ahead and install them and they can appear here. And it's as easy as clicking whatever option you want in order to apply it. And when it comes to extensions, you can choose to manage them here and you have a bunch of settings, a bunch of options. Uh, you can even place the title bar buttons on the left side as opposed to the right and so on and so forth. So there are a bunch of uh, options here and unfortunately it's glitching up. So I'll just leave it like that. Now, the fourth thing that I recommend doing after installing your system is especially if you're on a laptop and you want to save some battery, this is going to be very relevant for you. So go ahead and type sudo apt install TLP. Now I already have this installed. Now in order to enable it, just do sudo tlp start. And there we go. Now the fifth thing to do after installing Ubuntu 20.04 is, if you haven't noticed, they have been pushing for snap packages and snap support, and there is the snap store that is uh, enabled by default. So you could just easily go to the uh, software center and you can go ahead and remove that. Uh, now, if you do want to keep it and you want to add even more support to your system, you could do sudo apt install flatpak for flatpak support as well. Now, another thing that is also quite useful is sudo apt install synaptic. Now, Synaptic Package Manager is very useful, and if we go ahead and take a look at it, um, sometimes it's quite useful when it comes to installing um, something else that might not be uh, necessarily a program or an application, and you can go ahead and use this as a way to find um, a given package and find the exact name uh, that you're looking for. 
and it's pretty easy to also, if you go to origin, you can also maintain your packages uh, based on the repository that they're installed from. And you could just easily click on something and you can mark it for installation, reinstallation, or removal. Now for the sixth thing to do, what you can do is you can check for drivers and other software support that you might be missing. So what you can do is type up drivers and click on the additional drivers option. And this is going to search for any other drivers that uh, perhaps you haven't installed and you can install whatever you may need here. And for the seventh option, is enabling firewall. So what you can do is you can use GUFW. If you install GUFW, you have the graphical user interface of the firewall and you can easily install it through sudo apt install GUFW. Enter the password. Oops, I uh, accidentally entered it incorrectly, but this is the firewall here and you could just enable it by click on here and then you have your settings as well um, but this is the graphical version if you don't want to install that then uh, it's very easy to enable it through the terminal all you have to do is sudo ufw enable and then you can enable it and it's already enabled and if you want to disable it you just type disable now for the final thing, this isn't necessarily something to do right away, but these are commands that are very useful and uh, it's something that you should learn and uh, apply later on when using your system. So these are commands that uh, essentially clean up the system. So there are three commands. The first one is sudo apt auto clean. And what this does is it cleans partial packages. Uh, the next one is sudo apt clean. Now what this one does is it cleans the apt catch. And then the third one is sudo apt auto remove. So what this does is it clears any dependencies that are not in use. Uh, for example, if you install an application and you decide to remove it later on, uh, perhaps it, it just removes the main application, but it leaves some dependencies left behind that aren't being used by the system. Uh, and what you could easily do is you just type sudo apt auto remove and it removes those dependencies and it clears up your system. Now, I don't really need this command because uh, there's really not much to remove. So that is basically it. Those are the top eight things to do after installing the latest version of Ubuntu. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, leave that in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure to like it and subscribe. And yeah, that was basically it. Thanks for watching.